Part 1, Heterodox Approach, Keynesian slash Institutional slash Marxist. There is a second, important tradition in economics that adopts a quite different framework. Unfortunately, there is no strong consensus about what to call it. Sometimes it is called non-orthodox, which appears to define it in opposition to orthodox neoclassical economics. In recent years, many of those working in this tradition have settled on the term heterodox, but that adjective too is usually defined as not in agreement with accepted beliefs. Yet from the end of the Second World War until the early 1970s, those views now labeled heterodox economics were actually dominant, and it was the orthodox view that could be considered unorthodox in the sense that they were not the majority opinion. Further, while all orthodox theorists substantially accept the tenets of neoclassical theory, heterodoxy is made up of a number of well-established and coherent economic schools of thought. While these share a common approach, they also deviate from one another in important ways. The most important of these schools of thought are the Marxist, following the works of Karl Marx, the Institutionalist, following the work of Thorstein Veblen, and the Keynesian, followers of John Maynard Keynes. What are we to do? In spite of the semantic objections we have raised, we will conform to the convention and call this the second approach, the heterodox or Keynesian slash institutionalist slash Marxist approach. Let us examine their shared framework.